Hey guys, what's up? My name is Soya. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video you guys requested, which is how to pass your prerequisites. So initially I was going to do this in four different videos, but I realized that each video would be like a minute long, so hopefully this one will be also short, but you know, I'm just going to compile them all together. So a little background for me if you don't already know. I went to community college and um, I will say it was hard getting my science classes. It might be hard at your school as well, but what I did was I got priority registration and I was able to use rate my professor and my priority registration to get really awesome um, teachers for my prereqs. So the four science classes I'm going to talk about today are anatomy, chemistry, microbiology, and physiology. So let's start with anatomy because I think for me at least, anatomy was my big science class. Like I had taken only general uh, general education classes up until then. So when I got to anatomy, I was like, oh gosh, <laughs> I'm in like real college now. Like it's really hard. So, okay, anatomy. The way that I survived through anatomy is I went into skills lab every single time it was open. So skills lab is when they have tutors who are usually other college students who. Um, had done really well in the classes and you know know anatomy pretty well so I went to skills lab where there's a bunch of tutors and they have all of the material available so um, for instance if you're learning the skull and all the little crevices and orifices in the skull you can like check out one and you can just memorize it and just go through because honestly all of anatomy is memorization so if you can just learn how to do that quickly and efficiently you're gonna be fine um, so go to a lot of skills lab, find out a lot of really good memorization techniques. Mnemonics are really good, drawing things out, whatever it works for you. Um, I know I've really memorized something when I can take a blank sheet of paper, label whatever the topic is at the top, so like skull, and I can just like write everything out. Um, or another, I'm just going to keep using the skull, um, if I take the skull and without looking at my reference sheet I can just like point everything out. Um, in addition to that, my anatomy professor would upload videos on each subject and those really helped me out because it was able to present the information in a different way. Um, so those are the same kinds of study things that you'll see throughout the rest of this video. Um, next, I took chemistry and I took chemistry over winter break, so it was really crazy. I took a 16 week course in five weeks, so every single day was like a two to three days of chemistry class in a regular class. It was crazy, but it was awesome. Um, so I would wake up and I would go to chemistry from 8 a.m. to like 11 a.m. for lecture and then I would have lab from like I don't know, like 11 a.m. to like 1.30 p.m. and then I would have work from 2 to 10 p.m. so it was insane. I did that every day for five weeks and the only way I survived was I would go to class and I'd really pay attention, ask tons of questions, all those good things um, and then on top of that I would buy the study guide for my chemistry book and at work when I had town time I would spend like three to four hours and I would just do practice questions, practice questions, practice questions because and chemistry is like it's kind of like math you know what I mean like you have to know the formulas and you have to be able to apply certain things to figure out certain values so do a million practice problems um, that really helped me on top of that I watched a lot of a lot of YouTube videos I'm gonna keep saying that throughout this video but watched a lot of YouTube videos of other people explaining chemistry terms to me and it really helped out so that's what I would do um, and then I took physiology so physiology was interesting my professor was retired the semester after he taught me and um, I don't know he had a quite laid-back attitude and I think that I kind of lucked out you know kind of but not really in the sense that he didn't really teach us as much as he could have and he kind of just like had PowerPoints like that were up there and then our quizzes were all like open book open no open everything <laughs> but he never taught us so I had to learn how to utilize my resources and figure out the answer because he would ask us like a very specific question on the quiz and it wouldn't really be black and white in his PowerPoint so I had to like critically think and gather information and use that so that really helped me but uh, get, other than that I don't really have much physiology advice because my professor wasn't um, the usual professor so I'm sorry but for microbiology microbiology was my favorite oh my god microbiology was like my all-time favorite prereq that I like ever took for nursing school or just like in my life because I had a phenomenal professor um, her daughter actually invented proactive which is really cool so um, she genuinely was there just to teach us you know because she was just oh I love her so much anyway um, 
this is how I did microbiology. Microbiology is also a lot of memorization. And you know, it's microbiology. Like there's so many key little things that you don't wanna miss. But if you can memorize every single thing that they teach you, you're gonna be golden. They're never gonna have something like pop out at you that you don't know. So the way that I did this is I used audios. I recorded every single lecture my professor had and I would listen to them. So I would listen, oh I did this for anatomy too, but more so for micro. Um, I would listen to her lectures um, on the way to class, on the way from class, at work when I had a break. Um, I was a teacher's assistant at school so sometimes I would listen to it like when I was at work and the kids were gone and um, I was just like grading papers. Anytime you can just get that extra information into your brain, um, that really helped me out. So. On top of that, for microbiology, I mean, yeah, for microbiology, what I did was I would take notes, so like she would be talking and I would like take notes or whatever, and then I would sit down at a different time and I would put on her audio lecture and I would go through the notes, and if I missed anything she said, I would add them to my notes. And then I would take that like compilation, compilation and turn it into a Quizlet. And then I would do that those Quizlets religiously. Every time I got a Quizlet question wrong, I would write it out, write it out, write it out, write it out. And then once I didn't get it wrong, I wouldn't have to write it out. Um, after I did all of that, I would take a blank piece of, piece of paper and whatever I was learning, I would title it at the top and I would write everything that I knew about it. So for instance, if I was learning about tuberculosis, um, I'd write tuberculosis at the top and then I would fill it with every single thing that I know about it. So like um, the physiology, how to treat it, symptoms, what organisms cause it, all those things. And when you do that, you know that you know the information because you can fill up a blank sheet of paper. In addition, what really helped me is, what really helps me in learning is teaching people. So we would go to group study rooms in the library and they would have whiteboards and I love doing that. Like I can only do that once I've already learned the information, otherwise I'll just get really anxious that everybody knows everything and I don't. But I would go there, I would go on the whiteboard and I would like go through the study guide and like we would each take turns explaining things. Um, but I love doing that because it really, really helps me. And it also helps because you get to like discuss it and debate certain points and look things up and hone in on what's important and it's just overall highly recommend. So. To summarize, use Quizlet, draw things out, audio lectures, YouTube videos, um, Crash Course is amazing, I'll link them down below. And yeah, those are the tips that really helped me out. On top of that, just like I said in my other general study tips video, which I'll also link below, um, make sure you eat right, exercise, and all those good things. Okay guys, please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, please comment below. Every time I get a comment from you guys, it really makes my day. So, bye!